Something else to note is when folders have that little icon on there, it's almost like it's a darker folder. That means that it's a pop-up. So instead of being a typical folder where you open and you can navigate and hit a whole bunch of buttons and nothing really happens, you stay in this folder. The pop-ups, when you hit a button once, here, it closes out and goes back to where it was. It does. Some people love pop-ups. Uh, I think that they're great for a lot of things, colors, questions, little words, anywhere, etc. But some people say, oh, I don't want that folder to be a pop-up. I want my little words to just be a regular folder, for example. You can do that. You can hit the pencil icon. Unfortunately, you can't turn it off on a folder that was already created. So you just create a new folder. Hit that plus sign that looks like a folder. I'm going to link to an existing folder because it already exists. Pull down to get the search bar. Little words, see it right there. I'm going to hit it, hit next. Now, if I wanted to make it as a pop-up folder again, I would just hit that, but I don't want to. I want it to be a normal folder. I'm going to turn that off, hit done. And now you see I have two different little words folders. One is a pop-up, one isn't. I'm going to take this, I'm going to swap places with the one I don't want. I'm going to click on the one I don't want, and then I can either delete it or I can archive it. If you delete it, it doesn't disappear from the system entirely. It's just disappearing from here. By putting it in the archive, later on someday, I can go back into this archive and I can and pull things out of here and put them on the main page. But that is advanced stuff. You don't have to worry about that yet. But by archiving it, you never truly lose anything. It's always available somewhere. And now you see little words is no longer a pop-up. Or that I didn't. It's not closing out. Something else you can do is if you like the way that a standard folder looks, but you do want it to snap back to the home screen every time you use it or snap back to the previous screen every time you use it, you can do that without doing a pop-up. So hit the pencil icon. I'm gonna double click this folder because that's the one that I wanna edit. So now I'm inside of it. And then here on the customizations, I'm gonna go to the folder settings. So not just the button, but the folder itself. I'm going to scroll down here to the option that says snapback. And I can choose to snap back to home or snap back to the previous screen. I'm going to choose home, which just happens to be the previous screen, but they do work differently. And now every time I use a button in here, down. it's going to go back to the home screen after I'm done. So it acts similar to a pop-up, but it opens up in a full folder mode. And uh, some people prefer that.